The dietary fat is really one of the most important factors to consider when it comes to, to looking after the health of your skin. Um, in general, I would say what people need to do is increase the amount of omega-3 that they're consuming and reduce the amount of omega-6. These two fatty acids are essentially the metabolic building blocks for your body's own natural inbuilt anti-inflammatory compounds or inflammatory mediators, these things called prostaglandins. Several different types. Some prostaglandins actually switch inflammation on and make it worse, whereas others will actually switch it off, reduce it. The types of fatty acids that you consume will determine how many of those different types of prostaglandins you'll actually manufacture. If you're consuming too much omega-6 from nasty processed foods and crisps and junk food, you will actually produce more of the type that activate and exacerbate inflammation. But on, on the other, other side of that, if you're taking in more omega-3, then you're actually providing the building blocks that your body uses to create the anti-inflammatory ones. So think about it, acne, eczema, psoriasis, those kind of issues where you've got that angry, aggressive redness, that's inflammation. Anything you can do to reduce inflammation is going to make those kind of lesions look drastically, drastically better. There's so many different sources of these, of these kind of things. I mean, uh, a perfect example is some of, the, some of the seed oils that are out there, like um, sea buckthorn, for example. I mean, that's got loads and loads of fat soluble antioxidants in it, loads of those carotenoids, it's got a high omega-3 content. As many of these different sources as you can lay your hands on, really, so really up your omega-3 intake, move away from the processed food, move away from the omega-6, and you will see a vast, vast improvement in your skin. One of the real keys when it comes to fat-soluble antioxidants is making sure that you've got a good oil source alongside them. This will actually enhance their absorption. I mean, there's several ways around this. You could make an amazing salad dressing using an oil, or you can actually seek out certain oils that naturally have a high carotenoid content, so sea buckthorn or rosehip, one of those kinds.